Hi, I'm Hannah. It's my first week as a child protection officer. My team leader told me how impressed he had been with my job interview, the respectful way I spoke about children, and how I really thought about maximizing the resources that children and families use to protect themselves and each other. He called me principled. It felt good joining the child protection team. After I signed my contract and the organization's code of conduct, I was given a big pile of documents. But we were working in an emergency, so I quickly had to head out to meet the communities I was working with. I soon felt overwhelmed by all the needs of the girls and boys. How do we know where to start? My team leader explained there had been an interagency assessment that showed where the greatest needs were and how our agency could protect children and adolescents. But I was confused. Should I just focus on my few tasks? I decided to concentrate on doing the best work possible in my role. But I still needed to be aware of the wider situation for children and their caregivers. Our team focuses on child labor and psychosocial support to children and their families. We work through child-friendly spaces, community mobilization, family support, and where needed, individual case management. But I wasn't clear how the agency designed their programs, so my team leader pointed to this. It's the Child Protection Minimum Standards, or CPMS. It's a practical handbook that lays out the minimum standards humanitarian workers use to protect children. It's our go-to guide in emergency settings. Weeks later, I'm feeling overstretched. It's awful when my team can't help someone. I've learned that when we can't meet an identified need, we connect with other service providers who could help. That made me feel better. I do outreach every week. I meet a lot of people in the community and I'm building a network of support and child rights champions. One day, I met a girl called Samira. She seemed to be involved in exploitative work and was miserable. I read the child labor standard in the CPMS handbook. It made me want to act, but what could I do? Well, the CPMS are a starting point for practical guidance on the protection risks that children may face in an emergency. They include key actions that we should consider, like individual case management. By doing an assessment, I realized that Samira's family was facing severe financial difficulties. So I registered them for an integrated program to combat child labor. My team runs it with colleagues from livelihoods and education. Over time, I continued to drop in on Samira and her family. The mother was still pressuring her daughter to work and was clearly struggling with the situation. But again, what was my role? I'm not a clinical psychologist. I turned to the relevant standard, looking for simple actions that I could consider. It confirmed that I needed to ask the family if they had trusted neighbors who watched out for their well-being. I also wanted to make sure the children were participating in the CFS and that their mother received parenting support. I asked if she wanted me to visit every week. Knowing that these are good practices laid out in the CPMS helps build my confidence and provides a common reference I can use with colleagues in other agencies and sectors like health, or food security. Every two weeks, the whole child protection team meets. I always have a lot of technical questions. When our team leader can't answer them, he refers me to the Global Alliance's website, where I can find training resources and detailed guidance on specific topics. I've been doing my job for a few months now. I work hard to live up to our common principles especially non-discrimination and building children's and communities' resilience to hardships. But I often wonder, how do we know if we're making a difference? It's not easy to answer, but the CPMS do include indicators that help us measure the quality of our work and whether we are having a positive impact on children's lives. So through all the turmoil, I think the CPMS have helped keep the focus of our program on boys and girls' real needs. I feel more capable working with children in whatever situation they find themselves, and I see that these minimum standards will allow us to continue advocating and acting for the protection of children long into the future.